In this video, I shall give a short review of the Tempbox Lite, um, which I'm selling um, due to the fact that I want to buy a cargo as I need to put my uh, mountain bikes on top. New, this would cost £1,245. I'm selling it for £800. I bought it in April 2021 and have probably slept about 20 nights in it and it has been garaged over winter. It comes with a waterproof cover, which completely prevents any water getting in. I've had no issues with water getting in um, under the cover. Uh, it's held down with Velcro and a strap. Some people leave this on throughout the year. I took mine off um, and garaged it over winter as I needed to put a roof box on to allow me to go skiing. All you need are some roof bars. Um, it will fit on any car. I've even seen it on an Audi TT. It weighs 50 kilograms, so you need to check that your roof will allow that weight. Okay, to put it up, we'll give you an example now. <coughs> I'm do straps here. One, two, I'm gonna throw them over that way. Make sure they're down. And do the Velcro here, and then around the sides. Do the straps here. There are four of them. One, two, three, four. When unfolding it make sure that this velcro flap is uh, out of the way of the hinge on the ladder there are buttons on each side of the step you press these in and from the bottom you work your way up to unlock it and this ensures it is stable That is it, it's actually set up. You can actually go into it now. You don't need to do anything else if you want to just go into it. I keep the tent poles and there's a boot bag, I'll just show you how to fit in it.
So essentially I'm doing toggles. These can be kept down if it's windy, um, just to reduce the flapping around a bit. And then underneath here on this version, you can see there's little uh, holes there. There's one there that these slot into. So these slot into these little holes in there. Comes with a um, boot bag, which fits onto this rail under here. You can also fit um, a number of cat accessories onto there as well. Inside, it's very large, as you can see. Inside you have uh, four sort of windows. They all have uh, insect mesh on them. That's the big one that you look out my garage there. Um, they have on each side and on this particular version if you like back you have a window so you can look at the stars at night time should you choose. And as you can see there's plenty of space in here. I'm six foot uh, my head's not touching the far end. And that's how much space I have for my feet at the other end. And again you can see it's wider than a double bed. It's probably more like a sort of Mix between a king and a queen. And there's little pockets here to put things in at night. And boat on all sides. And then also I have a light, um, LED light up here, which just plugs into a um, battery pack that just keeps that going at night. Okay. So it's been used, been, you know, probably slept in less than 20 times since we've had it and the only reason um, I'm selling it is because I need to get a cargo so I can put my mountain bike on top of it. Another useful feature on the uh, tent box light which isn't on the other ones is the overhang here um, which does provide a bit of shelter and as I say I'm six foot I can just about stand up underneath on my car here but it you know, allows you to, if it's raining, shelter. And you can also then buy um, a little room that zips, that clips on the sides. And you may have seen those as well. You can get those from Tentbox. Come to its own cover, um, which is there. Again, excellent condition. So packing away is fairly quick. If there's two of you, it's even easier. Um, one of you can, um, do what I'm doing now, fold the ladder away while someone stands up and then tucks in the sides, um, which is key to ensuring that you can get the cover back on again. We tuck all the material in, makes it easier to put the um, cover on, and then put it and then get the straps here, put them on.
set done. Let's go put the cover on now. On the cover, just need to make sure it's all the way around. What I normally do is get the edges done, the corners done first. I have the one with the velcro bit at the back and tightening it up. So just go around and get it loosely fitted on before going around and getting it all properly on. Okay. It's I just make sure it's really tight all the way along. My Velcro. Same on the front. Then just make sure the velcro is completely firmly down which can prevent completely any egress of water chuck the big straps over the top There it is. That concludes the review of my tent box light. Um, it's been fantastic in the time I've had it. We originally bought it because of its size. It's um, the biggest of the tent boxes. And also um, the fact that it has um, a rear uh, or a bottom entrance so that you don't climb over each other when you're wanting to get out in the night. There are also a number of um, accessories you can buy for it. You can buy awnings and you can buy other bits and pieces. I've got um, a packer shack um, which goes over the back door. Um, and it just gives you a little bit of space inside, um, you know, if it's raining, whatever, and you need to sit down. If you are interested in purchasing it, please message me. It will be coming off the roof within the next two weeks to go into storage. So if you want to see it on the roof, um, please let me know.